My name is Lynn Fairley, and you are Daniel Deadweiler. Yes, is that correct? yes, I am. You are positively stunning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I was torn into pieces watching Till. I was angry. I was sad. Um, I, for days, I had nightmares. I was really actually heartbroken. And you were calm like a tiger stalking your prey during that movie. How do you stay so calm? And then, second part of that question is, how do you empty yourself of that character? Hmm. You stay calm because she did, right? Like there's an interesting, um, she's taught, right? Her, her, her emotional self is pulled in multiple directions and that creates a stillness in the center. And so that's what it called for. And when, you, when you're called to do something, like you're dropped into a particular chaos, a whirlwind, a tornado, you, the center is always stillness. And she couldn't overflow because she had a great intention. And when she was there in Sumner, she had a greater awakening, um, a greater awakening of a specific black resistance that had always been present, and then a great awakening on how she needed to move forward, which was outside of you know the oppressive forces that were all around her, which was about the kind of community um, work that she grew into, the kind of educator that she became, the kind of uh, activist that she was, and an and arts encourager of, of students, right? Making the Emmett Till uh, players. She just had to, she had a greater purpose um, and spirit moving her elsewhere. And so I think I tapped into that and um, and that well, you think me. you did? I, I, I suppose I did. <laughs> I hope so. That's why you're nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, those are the things that were driving um, those. Well, how do you discharge that character from your soul? How, how do you... I mean, I, I'm, I'm a black woman in the world. I'm a black woman in America. And we see these kinds of things very often. It doesn't mean that you inhabit it, but you have an emotional connectivity to it as you would suspect any person would have a connectivity to human oppression, right? And so I just know that that is something that I'm constantly tangoing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And so tapping into that kind of present day experience as well as the historical knowledge about it. And I'm a mother of a 13 year old myself. And so those are, um, those are avenues in which I know how to move through in order to access certain things. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I really, really respect you so you. much. Thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs>